Okay, another episode of Conquer Corona, and you're going to recognize this guy, Chris Prefontaine, from an episode we aired a couple months ago. He is the smart real estate coach. Uh, Zachary Beach also works with him. We had two uh, separate interviews with both of you, and uh, right now, it sounds like, Chris, this, uh, this whole coronavirus has actually helped you guys. You know, it's a tough time for everyone right now, and you hate to even think about, you know, it being a good thing, but we're looking for silver linings. We're looking for opportunities, and so that's, that's exactly what it sounds like is going on in your business. So let's just talk real, real straightforward. What is this doing to your guys' business? Well, I, look, it is it is sad what's going on, but what what's going on is the seller market just flipped, right, Kyle? Totally flipped. So uh, from about seven or eight days ago, us and our associates around the country got more properties in the contract than they had in the prior two and a half months. Uh, why? Because people are looking for a guide. That people want to see a path now with all the uncertainty, and the terms deals are allowing us to do that um, now. Are there some challenges with that? Sure. We're getting a ton of properties and now we kind of have to stop and go with buyers depending on what state they're in, right? To get out if it's shut down. But that just means the pent up, the pent up buyer demand is going to be huge when it, when it comes up and it lifts, which it will. So uh, I, I've said it prior to this and, I, and I'll keep saying it, the terms market is a neat market to navigate because it just ebbs and flows depending on who is easier to deal with, buyers or sellers? Right now it's sellers. So that, but let me say this, I, there's three things my coach said to me and I, and I wrote them down right before this talking to you. One is to just be intelligent about what's going on. Like this chaos, okay, good, but recognize it, but then be super clear on what you're doing and be intelligent about it. And intelligent about it is not getting caught up in the news media and all that. Intelligent about it is go to CDC, find out what's going on, have someone that's on your shoulder, like for a mentor in, the, in this real estate world. Second thing he said was, keep your mindset positive to handle all this junk, right? So we're flooding our community right now with mindset and positive things. We gave them all a free mindset program. Like this is the time to get really clear mindset wise. And then the third thing is, how do you maximize during pessimism, right? This is why you're doing the show and it's great you're doing this. How do you maximize during pessimism? Um, in our community, in the terms world, I'll tell you, I wrote down seven, but I could have kept going. Longer term, do de de deals that are longer, convert sandwich leases to sub two deals, help sellers that are having empty homes or losing their job and need your help. Like we can be the guide for these people. It doesn't have to be all, there's a plenty of opportunity in the pessimism. That's awesome. And so Really quick, I, I didn't even preface this. I, I'm assuming people saw your episode, but for the people that didn't see your episode, yeah, terms, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Let, let, let's just back up for a second and talk about why terms is so attractive. Well, actually, let's talk about what terms is for those that don't know, and then why terms is so attractive right now, especially. Yeah, lease purchase and owner financing. Let's just keep it basic for the sake of what we're doing today. Lease purchase and owner financing. Uh, neither one of those are you ever signing personally on. That's the key thing. Uh, and so you, again, you're the guide for the seller with little to no risk. You're, that's about as recession resistant as you can get, especially with everything going on right now. Great for new investors. That's awesome. Okay. So when you say people are looking for a guide right now or for, for help right now, what are the main reasons that you're hearing from people? Uh, you, you mentioned one of them losing a job. Are there other things that you're hearing from sellers right now that are in desperate need? Uh, they, well, panic in general, but if someone has two homes and they're juggling two payments right now, well, a lot of people are going to pivot on having a second home, right? And so they're panicking about carrying that, that second payment. Uh, the terms market is opening up a whole bunch of opportunities for buyers that can't otherwise go through banks. And as you know, realtors even get restricted right now. So we have this opportunity to get our buyers into these, into these homes. And, and all we do is paint that picture for the sellers because 20% of the market can get financing, 80% can't, roughly speaking. Well, that's a much bigger pool to fish in. Yeah, well, that, I think that's the big thing right there, right? When you can't get financing, when you can't get an opportunity to be able to get into a home or, or get out of a home, um, here's a great solution for you right here because you guys have the pool of homes that not only that you're buying, but that you are putting people in. So you're creating options and, and opportunities on both sides of this right now. Um, I, I guess my question is how can, if I'm listening right now, how can I jump in to what you're doing with terms 
um, is, is it too late for me to start educating myself? Is the opportunity going to pass me by? No, 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 not at all. And what I'll do is I didn't think of this before your show. Uh, it's never too late. And, 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 and in fact, the, the argument would be now is the time to do it and get, get ahead of this curve and be the person that can hold your hand out and help these people and guide them and, and build your business around that. I'll get you a link uh, for your clients only, your listeners only, Kyle, so they can uh, attend our virtual event. It's no longer get on a plane and come. It's next week and they can be at home. And that'll be a great way for them to get educated. That's awesome. Okay. Well, um, and, and with that virtual event, what can they expect? Uh, we have, uh, to my earlier point about the mindset, we have Dr. Amanda working on mindset. We have Stephen Westner working on how right now during this time, how important it is and how to do uh, the person, how to be the person that's going to plant the flag and be the authority so that the sellers and the buyers are calling you when they start rising back up. Uh, um, and then, of course, Zach and I are going to do deal after deal after deal, showing these guys how these things look. I mean, you and I just gave them like uh, an eighth of a percent. We're going to show them how the deal looks, rip it apart, the lease purchase and the owner financing, and then allow interaction. This is a virtual event, but it's going to be interactive. That's awesome. Okay. Well, uh, we'll definitely put that link in the description here on our, um, we're not doing show notes for this one, but on the YouTube channel, if you're listening on the okay. podcast right now, make sure you go over to the YouTube channel, find this video. We will have that link in the description in the video. Uh, but Chris, I'm asking this to everyone, complete speculation from everyone. No one can look into a crystal ball, but how long do you think this thing lasts? Um, I'm, I'm hoping and, and, uh, and thinking by late spring, you know, that people start coming up, but, but let me just say this, that's not going to mean everybody's going to be all better. Things are going to change. Uh, people aren't going to want to get on a plane. People aren't going to want to be in hotels. People aren't going to want to be in restaurants. So it's going to change. I'm not saying that's not going to change. Of course it is. Yeah. You know, I, I think what I've been, what I think is going to happen is I think there's going to be a lag time. I think there's going to be a 60 to 90 day lag time where people are either Agreed. collecting up their finances again. Um, or they're, yeah, getting over that fear of like, you know, should we go on a plane? Is this thing really gone? Like what it, and you know, there's, then there's the thought of like, what, what the residual of this happens. I think that, you know, if people, if there's less people traveling, uh, then maybe airlines need to jack up prices, like wh whatever that looks like. I think there's going to be a lot more struggles when it comes to, um, just a lot of different things. But at the same time, I'm also very hopeful being the Airbnb guy that, uh, travel will 2x and 3x because people are waiting to get on those planes to be able to reschedule the trips that they had to miss. So I, it's, it's really hard to, to estimate what people are going to do. Uh, but I guess we're going to see and, and I'm hearing kind of the same thing as what you mentioned, middle April, middle May. Um, hopefully that is when everything starts to kind of quote unquote, get back to normal, but we'll see any any other last advice uh, for our yeah. viewers. Yeah, I do actually. So no matter what you, what it is you, you do now, like regardless of what you do, this probably makes you think, could I perhaps maybe add a secondary, a supplemental income, whether you lost your job, whether you still have it and you're happy or like us love the niche you're in, could you add a secondary income stream? Yes. Then this can be it. And so at the event, in addition to what I already told you, we're going to talk about how to operate in this new economy, how to operate virtually, how to operate with terms in the new economy. So that's a key thing. Awesome. Hey, I love it, man. Um, last thing, how can people get in contact with you? Uh, best, especially with the event coming up next week is use the link we're going to give you, but also uh, just, if you want to go to the free webinar, just go through smartrealestatecoach.com and then Kyle will message it out in every way he can as well. Awesome. Hey, Chris, thank you so much for helping our audience today to conquer Corona and really survive and thrive during these uncertain times. We appreciate you.